Hello and welcome back to the Reapers and I hope you're doing extremely well. Now, loads of people literally for the last two years have been asking to see our computer setups for the main guys on GR. I have no idea why. I think you guys would probably think that we've got amazing setups or something. So we're going to show you the real reality. So let me do mine first. Stand by. So let's start on the right. A printer. The printing stuff. I don't really use that. My drinks, uh, that is orange and water, that is my tea glass, that is my ginger tea glass. Here's my stick, X56 Rhino, I got it for 80 quid off one of our members. It's a right kind of medium range, uh, it's got plenty of buttons on it, it's starting to break now so it's going to have to be replaced, it's just getting worn out. That's that, that is a keyboard, um, it's starting to break because I keep spilling that, that and that on it, uh, but it's got most of the buttons are still going. That is a headset, it's pretty crap, I need a new one, but I have no idea what to get. If anyone knows a decent headset to get with a decent microphone, then let me know please, my voice won't sound so gay all the time. Uh, that there is a track IR sensor, except at the time I couldn't afford track IR, so I bought a DIY track IR, and essentially just made it myself, and it's gaffer taped currently to the headset. That is the camera that it works with, it's a PlayStation camera, it costs $10, whoop whoop. And it works just fine actually. Well, mm, fine-ish. That is a mouse. I smash it against the mouse mat when I get angry when my guys don't do what I say. Otherwise, it works. That's a hose filling. I need to do that, but that's not relevant. That, that's my pressure gauge. That currently reads about 10 psi on average when a mission is ongoing and people don't do what I say. It goes up to about 90 psi when my blood pressure gets up and that's when I start calling people a twat. So that's my pressure gauge. Here are my notes. I keep my notes for doing tutorials. This was doing, I think, the 8N tutorial or something. Um, so that's what I write on. And my pen's gone missing again. Tissues. When I get snotty, because I'm not very well. Ribena is emergency Ribena. In case I run out of those other three. Don't know what that is, but that's not mine. And that's that. Oh, and a monitor. Um, I don't know how big it is, about a foot and a half, foot and a quarter, it's alright, it's actually quite good. Except, whenever you make a small move in the desk, uh, that happens and sweet, it won't come back on. And that always happens mainly when I'm in a stressful part of a mission or something and suddenly that happens and I have to dogfight with no screen. And I can't get it back on now because it's full of... And it's just like this all the time, so I've got it fully plugged in, but when I try and get it out, Okay, that's going to take... Oh, pain in the ass. Never mind. Um, I suppose I need another... I was going to get another screen there to talk to the um, Twitch guys who watch, but um, A, I was afraid of how to wire it up. I'd have no idea how to wire it up. And B, my Twitch no longer works because my internet doesn't work properly. Yay! So I can just about still do DCS, but I can't do Twitch. No idea what's going on there. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, and that's the computer. Um, I bought it ready built because I'm not very good at computer gizmo, uh, so I may get this wrong, but uh, two SSDs down there, 240, 120, power supply question mark, some sort of fan or something, um, pipes, um, disk drive, no, that's the graphics card, 1070 NVIDIA, motherboard of some kind, a chip i5 of some kind, I don't know how fast it is, I wouldn't be able to tell you, um, RAMs, 16 gigabytes, 3 gigahertz, I think. So that's that all side of stuff. It's pretty good. It's a bit of a relatively decent system. We could do with updating soon because DTS is getting quite over the top. Uh, I've run out of space now on my 240. I've got DTS and armor, and I've officially out of space. So I purchased this. Ba ba ba. Uh, 500 gigabyte SSD. Can't work out how to put it in. Um, if anyone knows how to put it in, send me a memo, and we'll we'll go and do that. Uh, so I've got to do that at some point. That's all I can think of. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll sign off and I'll go and get the other guys to do their videos. And we'll have some fun with that. Goodbye now. Alright, this is dude's setup. Uh, Alienware Aurora A7. Uh, it's a, only an i5 8400, 16 gig of RAM, 1080 Ti, GTX. Uh, Warthog setup, pedals, um, Trek R5. 65 inch monitor and that's about it hey guys graham here here's my setup i have two 24 inch monitors on each side i have an x34 in the center 
I have an audio tech headset with track IR, uh, Razer mouse and keyboard, the Trustmaster Warthog, the uh, Oculus Rift Blue Snowball microphone, a uh, button box I made myself, and a manual shifter for the Warbirds, uh, Saytec rudder pedals on the PC, I have an 8700K, uh, 32 gig of RAM, 1080 Ti, 700 watt power supply, uh, 4 terabit hard disk drive, uh, 1 terabit SSD and a 500 gig SSD. Hello everyone and welcome to my simulator setup. So, real beat up old chair, Thrustmaster Warthog with 15 centimeter extension, it also has the uh, second hardest spring, custom built base, Sartec Proflight pedals, a collective that I made out of a uh, Sartec X55, again with base. 40 inch TV, track IR, track hat, Corsair mouse, steel series keyboard, and the tower uh, i7 6700 and a uh, MSI 1080. Alright, welcome to my humble abode. Start off with the chair. That's a lovely GTL Mega. Source Master Warhog, just this on the uh, keyboard tray, nice and comfy. Corsair Void, Corsair Mouse, keyboard. I am well and truly a Corsair fanboy. And inside, a 1060 i7 8700K. And dual monitors, track hour on top, track hat. And then the uh, VR on the wall. Hello everyone, and uh, I'm Gunboat, and this is my little setup I have at home, and where I wage war from uh, on the Grim Reapers missions. And as you see, my keyboard, got my joystick, and my headphones, and my little camera up there for my head tracking. Here's my cheapy mouse. And uh, RGB keyboard, which is nice when we got to have the lights off for the uh, head tracking. Here's my chair, and uh, here's my PC, which I built recently with my phone sitting on top of it. Let me just get a little picture for you down in there. There we go. So it's got a 2700X. It's got an RTX 2080 and 16 gigabyte of uh, 3200 megahertz RAM. And it's also got an NVMe boot drive and uh, an SSD as well, which is DCS is on. So that's all pretty cool. And you see it from the top as well. Like a little power station. Anyway, I hope you enjoy seeing my setup. Just a little quick uh, video. And uh, I'll see you all again in the next Green Reaper's mission. Catch you later. Hey guys, Wolf found here. Just giving you a run through of my, uh, my setup. So, uh, running dual monitors. I've got uh, the Frostmaster 1600 Hotels, I think that's what it's called. So I've got the uh, the main joystick here, and the throttle on the left, accompanied by all the buttons that it comes with, um, and my actual rig itself. Uh, it's in a Crystal Corsair case, which is full tempered glass, so it's beautiful for lighting. I love it. Uh, as you can see, I'm running the uh, red color setup. Uh, graphics card is a GTX 1080 NVIDIA. Um, CPU is a i5 7600. Um, and I'm running 16 gig of RAM. And my main monitor is a 2560 by 1440 60 gigahertz. 
and my uh, second monitor is just a 1080 standard one so I just put all my uh, side stuff sporting the uh, Harrier Tornado background pictures so there you go hello everybody chaos here and this is where I commit war crimes from with the Grim Reapers got a 40 inch TV with track IR on top of it got my headset Razer Kraken with a track clip pro below it I got my computer that's an Alienware Aurora R4 with a 1050 Ti in it, 30 gigs of RAM, and an i7 quad core. Use a SciTech X55 throttle and stick. It was SciTech Pro Flight pedals. Just got a regular Logitech keyboard and an iBuy Power mouse, along with a beat up old computer seat with my old motocross jersey on it. Hello, folks. My name is Havoc, and welcome to my setup video. So, starting off with the PC, we have an um, 8700K with 32GB of RAM and a 1080Ti. It's got two NVMe drives, one for Windows and one for DCS, and an SSD in there for everything else. Um, we have my mic connected to the Scarlet Studio amp with the Scarlet Studio headset. I have my Oculus Rift, and as you can see, triple AOC monitors, I run a Logitech keyboard and mouse, and for flight gear I have the Thrustmaster Warthog, the stick has got an extension on there and has the, the spring updated, I've got the Thrustmaster TPR pedals and two MFDs, and all of it is mounted on a Wheelstand Pro Super Warthog. Um, I also run a trackball at the side for when I'm in VR. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Atomic setup, so I've got two screens T16000M with my headset with the uh, track IR on TWCS throttle PS3 bodged track IR TRP Thrustmaster pedals and here's my game box and you can see it's got little LEDs in it and it's a mess of cables and there it is in its entirety. Hey, so uh, I'm Riddle, and this is my uh, my gaming setup for DCS. Obviously, the best out of the Grim Reapers because it's American, and uh, everything is better in America. So I've got a uh, dual core processor here on a motherboard that I got from some magical genie in uh, in Thailand with uh, 32 gigs of DDR3 RAM. I've got a good 500 gigabyte hard drive. Wow. <laughs> I've got a um got this thing and I think it goes in here like that. Boom. And it works. And then uh no power supply because I could just will it into being <laughs> will DCS to run and two fans for optimal cooling. And uh that's the that's the rig that I that I normally play on. Now uh my my backup rig, you know, the the normal rig that uh that I would use if that one's not working is uh, this right here. It's a uh, two monitors, track AR, webcam, Logitech, uh, keyboard and mouse, surround sound on multiple directions, um, an X52 flight stick and uh, throttle. It works. It's, it does its job when it, when it needs to. And then in the computer itself, let's take off the side panel. I've got an i7-8700 on top of a Z390 motherboard by Oris, an MSI 10, GTX 1080 overclocked edition, a uh, Cooler Master 120 with two fans, a push-pull system. I've got three hard drives, a uh, two, t uh, two terabyte, one terabyte, and 150, 150 gigabyte SSD, uh, 750M by Corsair, and of course the all-important thing here that it do the, the disc and uh, I've got another fan here on the side that pulls and it's a pretty 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 good backup you know like uh, if everything doesn't work with the other one or I'm not feeling up to it to use that one I'll just uh, run games off of this it works all right and it comes with a little Wi-Fi adapter on the top and the back with everything yeah it, it, the cable management's really bad so that's why it's you know it's so bad. This is why it's the backup. So, well, hope you've enjoyed the little 
uh, little setup I have here. But my, my real happiness is with the one all the way back there. So I hope you enjoy your day. See you. Okay, guys, over here. I'm just doing a quick uh, video of my DCS computer. Um, very unimpressive, I'll be honest. Built very quickly to an exceedingly low standard. But it does the job for DCS. Um, never struggles really for frame rate. Not on the high settings, but, um, you know, acceptable. Satisfactory would be a good way of describing it. So we've got uh, X52, SciTech X52 hot ass system there. Uh, bought that second hand on eBay for £80. Bargain really. It's a little bit Fisher Price looking, a bit plasticky, but does the job, works. Um, could do with some more buttons, but hey, what are you doing? Can't have everything. Headset, again, eBay, 15 quid, unbranded. Imagine it's Chinese works it's got cool leds on so i look awesome while i'm using it um uh, and then we'll go over the system i will have to get it up on the screen here because i can never remember so we're looking at 16 gig of ram and it's a i5 4670 cpu at 3.4 gigahertz so to be honest i'm that far out of touch i don't know that's good or not anymore probably not because it's not a new computer but we'll go around have a look at the uh, range of the operation and um, there she is, it's a uh, Dell, originally bought as an office computer, which you did a sterling job at, never let us down, ideal. Um, so although I did swear a lot when I upgraded it to use it on DCS, I can't really blame Dell for their proprietary connectors and all that stuff because at the end of the day, I didn't buy a gaming PC, I bought an office computer and then tried to bastardise it to make it into one. So what have we got inside? We have a Samsung 500 gigabyte, sorry, solid state drive. Um, I find that works best if you leave it to float freely inside. Um, it's like a rudimentary suspension system, so that is not going to get any shock damage there. It's free to float and move within its um, caddy. Um, just couldn't be bothered screwing it in, to be honest. And you know, where's it going to go? Unless we have an earthquake, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, uh, NVIDIA 1050 Ti graphics card, which was the start of the upgrade shenanigans, because me being me, assumed to just buy it, shove it in there, and it would be working fine. Didn't know nowadays graphics cards have the extra connector on them, which obviously the original Dell power supply didn't have, so that then resulted in the purchase of that, which was great, but then that doesn't work with the Dell motherboard, because they have a silly proprietary 8 pin I think it was connector um, and that's just impossible to get anywhere so the solution was cut the 8 pin connector off the Dell power supply ruin my nice new power supply by cutting into all the cables on here and putting these rubbish little crimp things on which um, actually do work I wouldn't use them on anything else or anything important but they, uh, they work really well there so just crimp that on bang it on the power supply and, um, and it more or less fires up most of the time. But uh, the power buttons on the front of the case are no longer functional. So to, well, this is my favorite part to be honest, I think I'm more proud of this than anything else. Couldn't get it to work, but I did find if I get this trusty paper clip there, fold it over, jam it into those two pins there, bridges the connection and she boots up beautifully. So. Let me just get my cable management back in order. Get all this lot back in. And this will be why, you see, I don't have a lovely glass side on the side of my PC because we don't want this. No one wants to see cables. So why, if you can't see them, why really do they need them not? Just do that. Get that back on there, like that. Beautiful. Everything is neat and tidy. It looks like a professionally built Dell PC, and um, she's away. So uh, there we go. You're hearing some strange noises on here. It is just my little mate down here that's um, trying to get involved. But um, monitor on a separate note, the monitor standard Samsung or something or other. It's far too small. Cannot really see what I'm doing. But it'll do the job. So all in all, what I should have done is just bought a gaming PC to start with because 
think it would have saved me about three days of aggravation having to order new bits. Probably wouldn't have spent any more money on getting a decent, half decent machine. And I would have been able to turn it on and off at will. But uh, we are where we are. I can play GCS on it, so I'm happy. All right, see you later.